What is going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you the massive damage dealing fire sorceress. Now this is one of the most ridiculously hard hitting classes in the entire game and um, I really don't know why a lot of people don't play fire sorceresses anymore. I mean they're really not that expensive compared to lightning sorceresses or hammered ends and things like that. So um, I'm really going to go over this build with you guys and give you a rundown of all the equipment and give you guys kind of a, a cheaper side to this build also. If you guys want to get a quick overview of all the equipment and skills on this build just check the description below guys all the information is there. And this is going to be the first video where I announce that I'm going to be having a Patreon page where you guys can pledge $1 and you guys will get exclusive content that's not here on YouTube. I will be giving you guys exclusive videos, exclusive builds and guides, and just a whole bunch of stuff that I do on the side just for all my hardcore Extimus fans. And one of the biggest things that you guys will be able to do is you guys will be able to download all of the characters that I play here on my YouTube channel so you guys can test out some of the builds that I make and I create and show you guys on my videos so you guys can play these builds on your own and see what they're like playing them in the game so if you guys want to make a pledge and join my patreon page there's a link in the description below and i will see you guys there so the first thing we're going to go over let's just look at the damage right here real quick i'm doing 22k fireball damage and 43 up to 43k meteor damage which is which is just absolutely ridiculous man um, so we're going to go over the gear real quick. We got the Ashtuda Temper. I don't know if I pronounce that right or not. I have no clue what a Ashtuda is. But I call it the Eldritch Orb. So this is a lightning. This is a really good sorceress weapon for, for lightning sorceresses and for fire sorceresses. So if you get a fire one, um, it's it's really cheap to, to come across this. And all the fire gear is really inexpensive. Especially like fire skill grand charms. Because a lot of people don't play fire sorceresses and i have no clue why so i'm using the eldritch orb i got a shako with the fire face in it maras chains of honor chains of honor gives a nice little boost to strength lots of resistances magic find damage reduction um two to all skills um, chains of honor is just all around awesome man spirit shield i got spirit shield going some sand sandstorm trek boots two stones of jordan arachnid mesh belt Mage fist gloves and i got the ani and the torch and the rest is just fire skill grand charms and on switch i got call to arms and spirit for my battle orders so there were a few things i did want to go over though i, I did test out like using ormus robes or using four fire facets and in a shield and um you know i really came to find out that having the chains of honor just gives more damage probably because of the skills so um definitely for this for this build i don't really recommend using enormous robes or putting a bunch of fire facets in a shield maybe for some other builds that 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 could be better for damage but um you know comparing ormus to chains of honor i mean chains of honor you're just getting a lot more resistances and all that really good stuff that you need so as far as a cheaper route, I mean, you could use this build um, for uh, Taurasha set sorceress or fire sorceress. I've never really tried the Taurasha set with a with a fire build, but um, you know, I came up with this little quick, you know, cheaper route to go if you guys are are looking to set up a fire sorceress with with you know cheaper gear. And this is still going to work just fine, guys. And these are items that are really going to be easy to come across. I don't have enough strength with with that amulet on but that won't make a big difference but with this cheaper side of the build i'm using an oculus i'm using skin of the viper magi which is really nice gives up to 50 resistances with a um rune in it so that is really nice and pretty it's a pretty cheap armor to come by especially if it's not completely perfect and i'm using the war hat crown right here which gives one all skills and i put an um rune in that also so those are little cheap alternatives there and I'm using Taurasha's belt, you know, get a little bit of magic find out of there, some other good stats, and two Dwarf Star rings. Now, something about Dwarf Star I like to, to mention is I really love using Dwarf Star. It's just all around an awesome ring. I mean, it gives 40 to life, 15 fire absorb, magic damage reduced by 15. It's just a really good ring to have, and it's really cheap, and a lot of people really throw it under the bus. So, well, let's switch back to the normal gear right here. And then I'm going to show you guys how 
how ridiculous the damage is on this build. And th there's a lot of other fire sorceress items that you could get, like a blue helmet with two sockets and faster cast rate and all that crazy stuff. But those are really hard items to come by. You know, I really like to try and stick to the more casual side of, of gameplay in Diablo 2. You know, all these items are they're almost impossible to find. They're they're found by bots. I don't I don't really like to use those items because I never find them. And um, yeah, I would rather just use a, a normal setup, and it's not really going to make a huge difference in the game. I think that's one thing about Diablo 2 is that you know a lot of people are just looking to get every single little thing perfect. <clears throat> and it, it, it everything doesn't need to be perfect for for your build to be effective, man. So we're going to set the players to 8 right now. And then we are just going to destroy here. So, and then one more thing, guys. Let's show you my Mercenaries gear and the skills. So my Mercenaries using Infinity. That's pretty obvious for the Conviction Aura. Treachery. I love using Treachery now because you get more defense and damage reduction from Treachery when you get that level 15 fade than you do from Fortitude. Fortitude, you'll be doing more damage, but it's also a lot more expensive and you won't be getting as much defense for your Mercenary using that. And Treachery is definitely a lot cheaper. I mean, a shit. Thole and an um, I mean, that's really easy to come by. And then I'm using oh my god, my door just moved. Freaking god, that was weird. It's like a ghost in here or something. All right, well, sorry about that, guys. So, and then I'm using the vampire gaze right here. I love using vampire gaze. I put a burn in there, it gives a lot of damage reduction. As far as my skills go. Put 20 in the Firebolt, 20 Fireball, 20 Meteor, 20 Fire Mastery, and then I put 20 into Inferno just to get some of that extra damage there on the Meteor. One point in the Teleport, one point in the Static Field, none into Cold Spells, and any extra points I put into Enchant so I could give that to my Mercenary, which I need to set a skill for that right now. We'll put that on, on 9 and we'll hook him up. All right, so let's get this started, guys. I got the players set to eight, so the monsters are at the maximum difficulty that they can go to. And let's just get it started. So I usually just throw down a meteor, and then I just start throwing fireballs. And um, while the meteor's on the cooldown, I, I cast my fireball. So it does a ridiculous amount of damage. So double check here, doing 23 up to 23k fireball damage and up to 44k meteor damage. So I'll just show you guys how fast we'll be able to just knock these guys out. I mean, just one meteor. I mean, bam. I mean, they're all dead. I mean, so it, it's as easy as that. That is how insane a fire sorceress is here. We'll do the same thing over here. I'll just throw one meteor in a big group of these monsters. Almost took Shenk out in one in one hit, but you guys get the gist of it, you know. It just completely destroys monsters. So, but one thing to look out with this build, especially with the fire sorceress, even having infinity, you're going to be running into a lot of fire immunes because the conviction doesn't take the the fire resistance off all the time. Not every time like it, like the uh, lightning immune does with infinity. So that's probably the one thing that, that's kind of a downside for fire sorceress is you're going to run into fire immunes. But you're going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. So we'll go to Mephisto real quick. And I will show you guys how fast we could take out Mephisto. Since I'm playing on single player, I got my map already set up and everything. It's good to go. We'll take these guys out real quick. So on players eight there, you know, Mephisto died in like what, like three seconds, something like that. He died pretty quickly. So it's an awesome build to play around with, guys, and I mean, it's just, 
um, you know, it, it, it's really surprising to me that, you know, a build like the Fire Sorceress has been around for so long, yet people still want to play the same builds over and over and over like a, like a Hammered In or a Blizzard Sorceress. I mean, Fire Sorceresses are, are just as good, man. And it's, you know, I guess to each their own. So we'll do a little bit more killing around. Um, I don't really think that it's going to be that that awesome though because we're probably going to run into some fire immunes but we'll see what we uh get along the way but yeah i mean usually just one hit of that meteor and they're dead even your fireball i mean you could just be casting that everywhere and you'd be taking them down pretty quick One thing about this build too is that the survivability isn't all that great. I never think I, I always thought that sorceresses don't have really good survivability. Um, as far as me with my attribute points and all that, I just put enough points and strength to use my gear. Um, zero into dexterity, maybe just enough to use something, maybe like my call to arms. Yeah, call to arms or something. But, and then the rest of my points are just put into Vitality. I mean, you could do something like get a Storm Shield, maybe try to go for Max Block, or or do an Energy Shield build or something like that. But for me, I, I've never really done Energy Shield builds for Sorceresses. I never really enjoyed doing that. And I, honestly, I don't know too much about using Energy Shield on the Sorceress just because I just never liked it, so... I mean, we might be able to do a bail run here, but if we run into some some fire immunes, we'll probably will probably be done. Oh great, souls. I hate souls like we all do. Oh no. Got some guys there immune to fire. Yeah, see, that's probably the only big downside to this build is just running into fire means and stuff like that but if you're going to be playing with your friends or you got someone else that's not doing fire damage you'll, i mean you'll be doing just fine and you'll be helping out the group a lot so but one thing to maybe look into is try and do a hybrid build that's why there are really good hybrid builds out there like using the fireball and frozen orb sorceress or things like that there's a lot of hybrid builds out there especially with the Taurasha set but this one is just specifically for fire damage and you just do a ridiculous amount of damage. So that's about it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the fire sorceress build. This is a, a really legendary build that's been around for a very long time. It's just kind of sad to see that no one likes to play them anymore. So if you guys want to download this single player character or, or if you want to have access to some of my single player characters, you guys can check the link in the description below and you guys can pledge at my Patreon page. That's about it for this video guys. So make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with Diablo 2 content. Make sure you guys hit that little bell down there so you guys get notifications when Diablo 2 videos from myself come up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and I will see you uh, on my next video.